been obvious for quite some time now that the Democrats are moving closer to socialism and even communism as the media, Hollywood, and academia have been trying to make it more acceptable in America. You can go to any college campus in America right now and find acceptance for both socialism and communism and likely you can find students marching around with the hammer and sickle flag. My guess is that if you went to any college campus and marched around with an American flag, you'd receive way more hatred than if you marched around with a hammer and sickle flag. America. America. Wow. Why would you say that? The current leaders of the Democrat Party are far less socialists, like AOC, Tlaib, and Omar. Even Bernie Sanders, who's open about his socialism, was very, very cozy with communists back in his early days. Most people might not remember, but when Obama was president, the magazine Newsweek put out a big issue with a cover declaring that we're all socialists now. Joy Behar from that pit of hell called The View has attacked conservatives for fearing socialism and has said that nobody really knows what socialism is. Say the word socialist is now becoming a buzzword like liberal and feminist, where the right wing is now taking that word and distorting it. Serving to Democrats as socialists. Obviously, they don't know what the word means. There are countless examples of the media and the Democrats actively promoting socialism and communism, and this latest example is just more proof. CNN host Alyssa Camerata was apparently playing her part as a Democrat Party strategist today when she suggested that Democrats need to rename or otherwise be deceptive about their support for socialism. That's what the president should be talking about. They're socialists. Do you think that Democrats are making a mistake tactically, because you're a strategist, of allowing themselves to be branded as socialists, not coming up with some sort of new name. CNN working with the Democrat party to deceive the public? Impossible. I don't have the rest of the video, but hilariously, the Democrat strategist responded by saying, quote, Democrats should say they stand for inclusion and diversity. She also said that their messaging loses as Republicans because, quote, it's easy to be nasty and spiteful. But they are nasty and spiteful. Some Democrat women call themselves nasty women. I am a nasty woman. If you oppose Democrats or the left, they just hound you with their ever-growing list of labels that are designed to shut you up. Democrats are all about inclusivity and diversity on a very superficial level. If you don't agree with them, you're pretty much a fascist. The desire of CNN and the media in general to cover for Democrat socialist dreams has been going on for a while now. The Media Research Council recently did a study on media reporting during the collapse of Venezuela, and they found that the media neglected to mention the word socialism in 93% of their reporting. The word socialism or socialist was left out of 93% or 44 of 47 reports about Venezuela. That included stories on ABC, CBS, and NBC Evening News reports on Venezuela between February 1st, 2018 and February 21st, 2019. All three of the stories that acknowledged socialism aired on NBC Nightly News. I used to have a boss that was from Soviet Russia, and he used to always tell me that when he first came to America, he voted for Democrats, but that over time, he had left the Democrat Party because more and more, they looked like exactly what he fled. When people who have lived through it tell me that they see signs of it here in America, I believe them. Especially when you have examples like the media fawning over Fidel Castro after he passed away. Back when he died, the media erupted in this fawning remembrance of who was a brutal dictator. For example, the New York Times actually compared him to James Dean or Frank Sinatra and said of him that he was, quote, a man so large in a box so small. NBC News gushed over his death, describing it as, quote, tears of sorrows and cries of patriotism. ABC News called him the George Washington of Cuba. Well, Fidel Castro was considered, even to this, to this day, the George Washington of his country, among those who remain in Cuba. MSNBC reported, quote, a declared socialist, he dramatically improved health care and literacy. He never tolerated free elections or dissent, but he gave his people better health care and education. That's good to know that Democrats are all for a crushing dictatorship as long as we have, quote, better health care and free education. Just what would education look like in a brutal communist dictatorship? CBS News hilariously defended Castro by saying, quote, it's a long and complex career. There is the analysis that will say, look, this guy took power, shut down free speech, put people in prison, had human rights legacy that was quite challenging and difficult for many people who were on the other side of it. On the other hand, he rewrote the social contract in Cuba, in a small island nation. 
in which he put healthcare, education, culture, and the capacity for Cuba to have an independent foreign policy front and center as part of his legacy. Look, there's no doubt in my mind that the media is going to continue pushing further and further left. They're part of a cabal that includes the Democrat Party, whose goal is to push this country further into socialism and eventually full-blown communism. Perhaps that's why they're so supportive of open borders. As South Americans flood in by the millions, so will acceptance for far-left socialist policies. That's all I have for you today, folks. I want to give a shout out to someone who purchased on ribtea.com and wanted me to give a shout out for them, but I lost their notification on Twitter. I need you to send me a direct message. If you need underwear or t-shirts, make sure to buy them from the American-made ribtea.com forward slash drone tech. And make sure to use the coupon code drone tech to get 20% off most items. And as always, do not forget to hit that like button. I need you to hit the like button. Hit it right now. Thanks, and I'll see you all next video. Thank <laughs> you.